I know that when each of us become a mother, we have plans about how the kind of mom we're going to be and how we're going to love our kids and treat them well. My story is a little bit different. I was misdiagnosed for 14 years before I knew that I had lupus. And in those 14 years, I was diagnosed as a manic depressive. And so what that meant was that I was very, very ill while my kids were small. Um, in that misdiagnosis, I was hospitalized in a psychiatric hospital. And one of the things that I prayed during these 14 years that I was misdiagnosed, that God would make me well, that I would be the kind of mom and the kind of wife that I knew God wanted me to be. And the sicker I got, the worse I was. I stopped going to church. I stopped taking my girls, my son and my daughter to church. I got mad at God. My uh, husband and I divorced in California. His lawyer told mine that if I went to court and fought for joint custody that they would bring in all the information from the psychiatric hospital. So my lawyer told me to not fight that, that if I did, um, it would go on the record that I was uh, psychologically unfit to take care of my kids so that if they ever wanted to come back and live with me, they wouldn't be able to. And so that began a journey for me that um, was terrible. And one night I just couldn't do it anymore and I went to my bedroom and I knelt down at my bed and I just cried and I told God, I cannot do this anymore. You're gonna have to do something. And it slowly started to get better. I've gotten a lot of help from different people and got healing and things have been better and I have three wonderful granddaughters now that I can share Jesus with and we pray and we talk about him and he gave me another chance. I know that there's got to be women in this congregation that have had some very difficult times being a mother and maybe gone through some really hard things like this. But one thing that Jesus has taught me on the other side is that our lives are redeemable. Well, you know, the submission part now you know, to God is, is peaceful because I'm so safe there. You know, there isn't anything that I can think of now that he would call me to go through that I wouldn't trust him for that. I've seen him take this destroyed life and make something more beautiful out of it. And, you know, when we trust him completely, the circumstances don't matter.